Hello everyone, welcome to yet another series of Ajax video tutorials. Well, it's me Aftab and first of all, I would like to thank you for taking time to watch this video because the video that I'm about to make or the video that you're watching, it really took me a quite, of, quite some time to figure something out and that is how we can use Ajax in Visual Studio .NET 2008 aka .NET Framework 3.5 well we all know yeah that's right we all know that Ajax is something that really makes a user with it on your website a comfortable one and a, and a rich user experience on the site now how do we include the Ajax technology remember in Visual Studio 2005 or uh, or Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2005 or .NET Framework 2.0 we used to modify something in the web.config we, we used to add some some tags in the web.config in order for the Ajax technology to work but with Visual Studio 2008 or with Framework 3.5 it comes built in which means when you go to file say new website and then all you need to do is just open or just click this link or this template and then you have the Ajax ready Ajax technology built in to your site but with, uh, with the older versions you had to do something else you had to install the Ajax and then you had to then uh, call proper templates now I'll get straight to the point if you need to use the Ajax all you have to do is just come down to the tab that says Ajax extension and that's it you need to just drag this control onto your form and then you can easily work with the Ajax technology that's all you need to do you don't need to have any third party or you don't need to have any other software installed that's it just first drag this control onto your form and then for example this control is at the moment sitting on this form which means this page is Ajax enabled and if you use, if you do something it will work smoothly and I've actually made a demonstration of this one and which is in my other video how this thing is done so you better check that one out it is really cool so that's about it and uh, there's something more that I want to show you if you come down here and you can see the Ajax toolkit well actually these things these things doesn't come along with it but how we can install these things these wonderful extenders I'm going to show to you in my next video so thanks for watching and keep tuned in